Support your locals, starting with Space Smoke Shop, located on 125 East Pennington Street, Tucson, Arizona. Space Smoke Shop, local glass, cheap tobacco, any drink you can think of. We're also a hookah lounge and a venue. Like us on Facebook to keep up with shows, deals, and new products. And Punk Rock Tuesday, every second and fourth Tuesday, it's Punk Rock Tuesday. Woo! Be sure to tell them you heard about it on the GMR podcast. See you soon. GMR. 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 Paul Heyman, who is, uh, they got these t-shirts, I'm a Paul Heyman guy, right? It's like a... You know who Paul Heyman is? No. Oh, you don't know who Paul Heyman is. He's perhaps one of the... He was the guy who started ECW. That would explain. You know what ECW is? Yes. Just in passing, you probably never actually watched some ECW matches. That is correct. Okay. Well, he was... Uh, anyway, he's a Paul Heyman guy. And where I was going with that story was... Uh, this guy on this wrestling podcast, he was like, I'm going to get a t-shirt that says, I'm a Velma guy, with a picture of Velma from Scooby-Doo, because he thought Velma was hotter than Daphne. What do you, where's your position on that? For a second, I thought you said Wilma. I thought we were talking Flintstones. Flintstones, no, Velma. <laughs> Isn't that her name, Velma, with yeah. a V? Like Velaments. So, are you a Velma guy, or are you a, a Daphne guy? Well, it depends on what day it is. What about... No, they're two distinct. That's right. That's apples and oranges. Apples and oranges. It's the GMR Podcast. I'm Marty Cotola. And I'm the other guy. The, it's the week G. 44. It really is week 44 at this point. We've, we've caught back up. Yeah, Tucson Comic Con's in less than 24 hours. That's It'll right, be, that's right. It won't even be over by now. Tomorrow in 24 hours, we'll be just getting ready for the costume contest. That's right. The big the big uh, cosplay at Tucson Comic Con. I don't know if they had that last year. I don't think they did. Now, Ray was here yesterday, but he's not here today. So <clears throat> he may be joining us tomorrow, which you'll get to hear next week. On Podcast 45. So what, we're not going to do a podcast next Friday? No, we are, but we're going to have the excerpts from what mm. we record tomorrow oh, on the oh, uh, nice, portable nice. thing. On my little shitty thing? Yeah. Have we, we, does your phone have a recorder? It does. Uh, what, we ought to do a test after this podcast to see which sounds... They sound equal, actually. Equally is, is, <laughs> yeah. is uh, n not good. Yeah, I think you have more recording time on yours oh i do i, I have four <laughs> hours straight but as you'll see uh, you already know it's not going to be four hour podcast next week people, no in case no you're... four hour podcast costs too much money and at this point you guys aren't supporting us enough by about, buying our products spend about 10 hours sending editing us it. donations right That's if we right. were getting a hundred dollars a month from our our loyal viewers We'd be able to put that extra time in and give you extra podcasts. All 11 of them. That's right. That's only $10 a piece. Less than $10 a piece. Think about it, people. Support us. Buy our t-shirts. We're going to have, we're going to assume we're going to have tote bags. Oh, we already have all that stuff for oh. sale now. It's, it, there you go. It looks awful, but you can buy it. It's, it looks awful. It's going to look beautiful. I'm selling it, huh? I'm You're really selling, selling it. No, it's going to look wonderful. These, these, these tote bags are top quality. They might even be made with hemp. I doubt it. Probably Chinese plastic. Now I'm selling it. That's right. Co coated with lead. Because you know how this shit is. The coffee mugs will be coated with lead, too. Everything's coated with lead. We put an extra coat of lead on it for you, the home viewer. That extra added value. At no extra cost. But yeah, we tweeted tweeted it out, and you can buy all sorts of stuff with GMR logo on it. That's what it looks like. Well, you can even spend close to thirty bucks for a 
baseball. Oh, we should have gone with the another logo. We should have gone with the orange one. You can get stickers. Mm. You can get a water bottle. Your GMR water bottle. Your iPad 2 cover. Wow. Wow. Get it all at the GMR podcast store. 30-day money-back guarantee. There you go. A baseball. You can get your own GMR baseball. That's right. Impress your friends. Show up at the game with a GMR baseball. It's top of the line. Show up at Comic-Con with your GMR podcast tote bag. Put and, all your swag, your swag in. And flask. Flask. Holy shit. I need that. How much is that? <laughs> that is 20 bucks. Holy shit. I'm going to have to get that motherfucker, dude. <laughs> that That is a must buy. GMR flask. Can we get it in orange? Sure. Because Sarah gave us a variety of logos. And if you're out there listening, Sarah, awesome. Awesome. And any profits we make out of this, we're going to send to Sarah because it's your logo. And uh, we, we really, we only thing we'd use the money for is more podcasting and comic books. That's right. Woo! So I can get a pink GMR hat? Yeah. What I really like is the GMR shoes. GMR shoes? What sizes do those come in? Oh, any size you'd like. Wow. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, or 12. Featuring one logo per foot. Wow. Now you really want to get in on this, people. We really need to move these products. Yeah, we printed them all up and they're just sitting over here. So, uh, And we invented the wrap-up show in 1994 just so everybody has that clear out there. You tweet that to the Stern Geek. You yeah. know, the Stern Geek is following me on Twitter. Really? Out of the blue. I don't know why. Maybe because I've been following him. And maybe they just got around to it. I know President Obama follows me. Well, if you're listening. Is President Obama follow GMR Podcast? He's one of the 11 weekly listeners. Is he? He's going to give me a, a discount on health care because he likes the podcast so much. Well, I'm, I'm just glad that Obama's interested enough in me or his people to follow me on Twitter. That's right. I'm, come on. It's all about now the that's, Twitter. That's followers. gotta be my most famous follower, the president of the United States. Whoa, 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 stop the clock. I am not paying for Twitter followers. And I don't collect spoons. Now on the next season of Pondo Theater, get ready, because there's a lot of stern references. Yeah. I, I'd say at least twenty per episode, so stay tuned. We watch a lot of Howard Stern. We watch, we listen to, we guess we could watch Howard Stern, but we listen to all the Howard Stern we can. Theater the of the mind. So I hear Eric, the actor, is going to buy TNA wrestling. He wants to. We should get behind that project, like donate or volunteer or whatever it takes. You want to see, I mean, the company's already going downhill. You would think it couldn't get any worse with uh, Eric, the actor. But I'm pretty sure it could. Yeah, wait till I get through with it. Oh, so they are showing four Marx Brothers movies at the loft in December. For those of you that don't live in Tucson, that it's meaningless to you. But uh, for those of you that do, that's pretty cool. We just started watching those, and then the next thing you know, they're showing at the loft. So once again, ahead of the curve by about 25 minutes or so. Uh, no more Lou Reed as of this week. I'm guessing that Coachella show earlier in the year must have been one of the final performances. He was at Coachella? Yeah. Back in, what was that, May? Yeah. I I don't fucking know when it was. Yeah, that's usually, <laughs> it's usually about the same weekend as the Comic-Con. So it's kind of like one or the other. And what else happened? Oh, yeah. Tucson Comic-Con is about to happen. We have about 18 days till the Pearl Jam concert, which will be a GMR podcast all into itself. More details to follow. Uh, Mark Brady tried to call into the podcast earlier today, but the podcast wasn't uh, happening yet. And I try not to answer the phone while driving in traffic. 
And the traffic has been a bitch the last two days. People are just, they're nuts out there. That's because gas went down like 15 cents. And it's, uh, yesterday was Halloween. And here I am with a full tank. Woo! I did not get to take advantage of the cheaper gas. Oh, you don't, you know, what are you supposed to do? I guess there's there's probably some sort of thing that would... You can dump out your tank and <laughs> fill well, it up again. Sense. Here's what you do. We get these trash cans. <laughs> we go, we door go to down door. there, fill that shit up, get a bunch of trash cans, and we bury it. We bury it. See, that's why it won't evaporate if we bury it proper. The gas has an expiration date, apparently. What does that mean? It goes bad after a while. That's not true. Where'd you hear that? Somebody told me that. Oh, somebody. Well, let's find out. Because I, from what I understand, like, oil wells and shit, like, the top layer is, is like, almost is gas, gasoline. So we're looking that up. Does gas go bad? Question mark. It evaporates. I mean. In fact, gasoline can degrade over time. Okay. So it's not going to be as good a quality. You're going to get more more clogging of your system and shit. Yeah, it'll oxidate and it won't be volatile and it won't burn as effectively. The result, diminished engine performance. Mm. So hurry up and use your gas as quickly as you can because otherwise you're going to lose engine performance. Yeah, it'll, it may even smell sour. Mm. That's stored gasoline. It goes it gets, Sour. It goes dark, so, you know. That reminds me of the always sunny in Philadelphia. You have to buy a fuel stabilizer. Ooh, that's the high-grade stuff. Woo! Let me get in on a little bit of that, and then we'll worry about catching that rat. I don't think they ever did catch the rat. No, they didn't care. It was Charlie work. It was Charlie work. So I was reading the... The Wildcat, the university paper from a couple weeks ago, they got tips on tailgating. Apparently, you can just uh, show up at the U of A on a game day and bring a keg with you and just sit there and drink it. I didn't know you could drink on campus like that. Do you think that drinking in public, are those rules suspended? It's, it's, it's encouraged. I know it's encouraged. It's crazy. And then on another page, there's like this little tip, like the seven deadly sins, what to do, you know. And one of them is marijuana, and it says you ought to go down in Highland and buy an ounce of bubblegum kush from a freshman. Just crazy tips. It really says that in the paper. It does. I'll show it to you, dude. <laughs> I'll show it to you. It definitely says wow. that. Wow. And this was the paper that they put out on Parents Weekend when the parents were, <laughs> you know, encouraged to come down and see what's going on, you know, visit the dorm and see how their kids are doing. So you'd think a lot of parents might have picked up this paper. It does say that. Wow. 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 So, so this, this is it. No. Oh, so we're going to call Steve-O tomorrow and see if he's going to show up and meet us at the Shot in the Dark Cafe where we traditionally meet for Tucson Comic Con and see if he shows up. Steve-O. Except for that first year where it was way out in that other oh, place. Yeah. And we drove out there. It had been weird to meet at the Shot in the Dark then. I guess we could have. <laughs> yeah, let's walk over. From the shot, the shot at the Dark all the way to the south side. Well, we could have met there. That's what I'm saying. And then walked from there. Oh. You know, save on that gas. I was thinking drive. This is our first Dia de los Muertos... Or Day of the Dead podcasts, where we reflect on all those old dead podcasts we've done all year. The first 43. Wow. 43. I remember a lot of bus stories. Oh, I rode the bus a lot. At least, at least, uh, let's see, what's 43 times 3? At least that many times. So close to 150. At, yeah, at least. Sometimes, uh, of course, nowhere near the legendary 
amount that Ray is yeah, Ray has taken. Thirty five buses in one day. Because that's possible. It is. If you if you let focus, me off right here. Then you, you wait for the next. Let me back on. Does that count as the same bus or? So I'm looking at this old. Uh, let, me, let me see those transfers. Oh yeah. Oh you know. well, now it's all it's all com- it's all in the computer. You can take a take a bus, and then take the same bus on the way back on the same transfer. When I started riding the bus, they had paper slips or paper strips that they would tear with the time on them. Yep. Yep. And you couldn't use that one. They'd have like a blue one and a red one. One for like north, south, or north, east, north and west, or and then one for whatever the fuck it was. If you have your vintage transfers. Oh well, yeah, those will be collectible. So I'm looking at this old uh, Conan comic book from 1980, and it's got a Hulk utility belt. Does it have an Andy Richter utility belt? Mm, no. I figured being a Conan comic and all. And some of the features is it has a self-adjust or a size adjustable one size fits all buckle. You need that. It's got a gamma radiation detector. Nice. A Hulk Volk a voice modulator. Even though at that point it doesn't really matter about the gamma rays, you're already the Hulk. And it's got a Hulk wrist gauntlets. Hmm. Now, does it have a place for my cell phone? Nah, it might attach for the gamma radiation detector. Well, that's that's sending out gamma rays, so. It might. It might. Now, you were saying you want one of those that goes right on your wrist, like Dick Tracy. Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. And you're afraid that you're going to get wrist cancer. Yeah, because you just wear it all the time, and it's constantly sending. You believe those you're things probably give better, you cancer? You're probably better off with the Hulk belt, because I don't think that's going to be a emanating anything yeah if i wear the hulk belt around people are gonna think i have special needs <laughs> no i'm just cosplay cosplay oh yeah that would be vintage if i could add a vintage hulk belt you think i think maybe one person would recognize it look at that the black hole action these are the black hole models nice they have these three models the ship that guy maximilian maximilian and Vincent. That's right. That's right. And Stuff you kids don't even know what I'm talking about. Bob, the fucked up one. I like Bob. I would love to see that movie again. People always always uh, talk shit about that movie. Rom. Rom. I totally forgot about Rom, dude. How could you forget about Rom? I have a complete run of Rom over there. Do you? I used to have the ROM action figure. Ah, uh, yes. Did you ever have that? A comic book based on an action figure. Is that what it was? Yeah. They were like, hey, let's we need let's to come s- up with a story for him. And then we get Marvel behind I, it. I never did have that figure, but I wanted it, though. Oh, it was like 11 was inches huge, tall, yeah. something like that. He had, he had a thing, had a gun. Dire Wraiths. Oh, fuck. I don't think there was a Dire Wraith figure. No, there was only ROM. But that's what he fought. He, he, these people were like they live. You know, they were, they looked like people, but they were oh. aliens. And he'd go around and send them to the negative zone or wherever they needed to go. And people thought Ron was just going around killing people. No, he was taking out the bad aliens. One day somebody will make a movie out of that and fuck it up. Rom. Rom. That'd be a good classic movie. Come on, you could totally do that. Oh, I'd love to make it. But you know somebody else is probably going to get to it first. It's probably so. already been uh yeah, the rights somebody or somebody's Disney, already passed Disney owns somebody's it now. already passed on it. Like there's all everybody there's like hundreds of superhero movies that they never actually made that they were talking about. Oh, here we go. The Empire Strikes Back. Oh, where you could order Kenner figures. Yeah. You could get and the just drawings. You could get 12 inch action figures. I don't even remember these. Somehow Those I got, were the, the dolls. They were just regular dolls. They were Star Wars dolls. They were big. But what do you mean by dolls? They made a bunch of them for the. Were they like a Barbie? They're about that size. Um, yeah. were, were, they, were they articulated? Kind of. All right. So we got 12 inch action figures. They had Darth Vader, C3PO, R2D2, Princess Leia, Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Jawa. 
No, the Jawa couldn't have been 12 inches. Well, you know, he was comparable to the others. They didn't sell as well as the small figures, so I think they made like a Boba Fett for Empire, and then they just continued to make the... Uh, they had Bo- they had Stormtrooper, Boba the, Fett. The Boba Fett was like that $6 million man. You could look through the back of his head. Through, Chewbacca. Through the eyeball. And Ben Kenobi, and these were like $14 a piece. Yeah. No, That's why they didn't... Chewbacca didn't have hair, but later on when they started making those dolls again in the 90s, they put out a Chewbacca that actually had hair. That was a 12-inch. They had the spaceships. They had the land speeder. I had that. I did as well. That was eight ninety nine. dollars Our parents must price. have loved us, right? <laughs> the speeder Imperial. What the fuck is... Oh, the, oh, wait a minute. The TIE Fighter. Imperial Margarine. Imperial TIE Fighter. No, I had that. Da, 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 da. You had the TIE Crown Fighter, right? Uh, no, I didn't have... I had a TIE Interceptor that I got many years later. The X-Wing... X-Wing fighter. These are fourteen ninety nine, cheaper than the twelve inch action figures. The Darth Vader Tie Fighter. I don't think I ever had that yeah, one. That's the one with the octagon shaped uh, wings. The Millennium Falcon was was thirty six bucks. Yeah, didn't have that. And there was a poster. I did have the Death Star action but... scene or three D. There was a three D poster. Action scene or 3D, that's what it says. Mm. The Hoth Planet action play set. Had that. Had that. That was uh, 11 That was 12 bucks. The Rebel Armored Snow Speeder. Nice. I did not have that. No, I knew somebody who did. The Diecast TIE Bomber. I don't even remember that. That's the one with two. Uh, and they were dropping the... Uh, Bombs on the asteroids, trying to figure out where the Falcon was. The patrol dewback. Now I definitely had oh, the, yeah. the dewback. The creature cantina. Yeah, that was the one where you could make Han shoot Greedo. Yeah, all right. The the dewback was ten bucks. So was was the cantina. You put the feet down in the dewback. Land of the jaw was. I never had that one. That's the one that I had where they land in that. Uh, Escape pod. Oh, yeah, that's the escape pod you were telling me yeah, about. The, one of the play sets that didn't make it out here from Virginia. Probably about the size of this thing. Sweet. Nobody knows how big that thing is, but it's pretty <laughs> that big. That thing right there. It's half the, the size of there. that thing. The Death Station, the Death Space Station, Death Star, how much Death were they Star selling Space that Station. For? That was 30 bucks. Nice. That was cheaper than the Falcon, really. I don't even remember the Falcon because the Falcon apparently the Falcon was compatible with the three and three quarter inch figures. Yeah. I don't even remember the Falcon. You have to look that up and show me yeah, what that Falcon looked like. It was about that, that big, and it had the back the panel that would lift off, and it had all the. You know, Maybe I did. There was a little secret compartment flap you could put people under. You could I put the guy under the gun turret and. Maybe I did fucking have it. It was a fairly common toy. At least one kid in every neighborhood seemed to have had one. And of course, the droid factory. Yeah, where you could make that your was own 14 droids. 14 bucks. Imperial troop transport. Oh, I, I never had that. I had that. I had that. That was that little gray thing with the slots on oh, the yeah, side I, of I it. I remember it. I always wanted it, but. It made it talk, too. You'd push the buttons on that Imperial transport and it would talk. It was that cheap technology of a little disc in there that would play and it sounded like crap. Kind of like the talking Viewmaster. It was a Viewmaster, but it had a little disc that went behind it, and you pushed this other button, and it would <laughs> sound like one of those things you pull the string. Looking at this you makes me realize little... how much money they spent on me when I was a kid. Because yeah. I, I, all I was into was Star Wars. It was like I'd get out of school on my birthday because it was the, in, the end of May, and I'd come home, and there'd just be Star Wars. You know, everything was Star Wars. Yep. I had the R2-D2 yep. cake. And then, of course, they're selling all the new figures with they don't have prices. Oh, four. There's four for. Let's see, three each or three thirty-five. That's affordable. Or any four for thirteen bucks. I'm pretty sure that all mine came from the store. And there's um. I never had the radio controlled stuff. Let's see if I can find that Spider-Man utility belt. Now back to our regularly scheduled programming of looking for Spider-Man's utility belt. 
because I don't want that Batman utility belt. That's that's so generic. Now, can I get a Conan utility belt? That'd be awesome. I wonder would be on that. Or a Man Thing utility belt. Oh, what's that for? Only two ninety nine, right there. I can afford that. Two ninety nine. Oh, that's a Mister Freeze pool float. It not Mister Freeze from Batman, but from Leaf Candy. Yeah, it's like those. Uh, what are those things with the Otter sell, pop. Otter pops, like old otter pops. They probably still sell Mr. Freeze somewhere, but otter pop is like the cheaper alternative, I imagine. I don't think it's in this comic at this point. Oh, GMR. GMR. Oh, we're already here 30 minutes. Wow, that podcast just flew by. Yeah, it did. So we're going to Comic Con tomorrow, and none of you people are going to hear this before then, but you already know we're going to be at Comic Con. Some of our loyal ones might hear it early Saturday morning. Yeah. You might you might throw all this together. You got to get up early and change your oil. That's stuff. right. That's right. GMR. GMR podcast. Check it out. GMR. 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 GMR.